Praise the Lord, saints. This is Willie Simmons again, New Living in the Tabernacle of Praise, Assembly of God. <clears throat> I'm uh, here at 924 East Broad Street. Praise God. You can reach us at 256-438-5908. You also can view other uh, ministries at NLTOP space Gadsden on YouTube. Praise God. Amen. Uh, this is one, this is the last of a series that I'm doing, <clears throat> talking about faith, but I'm, I'm talking about faith uh, as it relates to now and the time that we're in. And I'm encouraging you to be very prayerful, uh, to be led by the Spirit of God on the things that are coming as different things are being ushered in, systems are changing. But there's an agenda set forth. <clears throat> Praise God. Amen. And you, you got to understand uh, what, what's going on with the one world government, the one world monetary system, all of these things. The Word of God has told us. He also has told us about the pestilence, these things that are happening through this virus, the racial injustice, those things that are going on, wars and rumors of war. He said, but these... This is not being the end as yet. I'm not saying it as if that, but I'm saying it to let you know what's happening. But God has promised us, amen, that he's going to be with us, that he is for us, and that as we go through this, as we look unto him, the author and the finisher of our faith, he's going to, going to bring us through it, amen, and, and, and we're going to be with him forever. Praise God, amen. Um, talking about faith, we said, Amen. Uh, uh, when we, we were reading over in, in uh, Daniel, the third chapter, uh, about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and how they went through the fiery furnace, and how they went through it in faith, believing God. Uh, as we went through that, we began to talk about what faith is and how faith is, is, uh, is, is to be used at this time. But today, praise God, amen, let us try to wind all of that up. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you. We thank you that you've given all of us a measure of faith. And Lord, help us, Lord, to place that faith uh, upon the solid rock of, 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 of faith in Jesus Christ and what he has done on the cross, what he has accomplished, amen, he has paid for our sins. And, and through uh, his death, burial, resurrection, uh, the sin debt has been has been satisfied, and in being satisfied now, the good news of the gospel is being preached through your church, by your people, Lord, to, to the ends of the world, Lord, that uh, you are getting ready to to return and receive us unto yourself. I thank you, Lord, as we are light and salt to that truth, Lord, uh, to share with the people. I thank you, Lord, that uh, it will be illuminated to them what they need to be doing at this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, praise God. I'm going to uh, kind of end this up by going over, uh, leaving uh, Daniel, the third chapter. I want to go over to 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. And in there... I want to start about the 11th verse. Amen. The 11th verse. Amen. And it's, it's talking about Christ's second coming there. Uh, if you if we'll start reading at the top, let's 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 go to verse one. Uh, and Paul is talking, and he says, "But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you." For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so coming as a thief in the night. So this is coming, amen, and uh, it, it be upon you all of a sudden, praise God, amen. Verse 3 says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. It talks about uh, a, a travailing moment, praise God, uh, that there's going to be an announcement of peace. It's going to look like things are solved and everything's okay. Uh, you get our president and different ones saying, make America great again. 
and you get these things that are coming about, and then all of a sudden, the pestilence appears. All of a sudden, the racial injustice appears. Praise God. Amen. It, it's preparing us. It's getting us ready. The Lord is letting us know. Verse 4 says, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. See, we have the revelation of God's Spirit working on the inside, illuminating our mind, making us aware of what's going on. Because we see as a person with a flashlight, really, in the darkness. The Spirit of God is that flashlight that is shining out of us, and it shines all about us so we can see how things really are through the Word of God. Amen? So, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness. That, that day should overtake you as a thief. So we should not be overtaken. Verse 5 said, Ye are all the children of light and the children of day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep, it says, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Being sober there, you would think it's talking about alcohol or this, but it's talking anything that you're drunk with or over-concerned with or have things in the wrong place where you're over uh, uh, con indulged in is going to take your attention away from what's happening. Amen? Some people sit down all day and they look at the news all day long. They're just watching the news. Uh, uh, and they're becoming drunk with the fear that this world is producing. And you can see that they are talking more about uh, who, people that are dying from this virus than the people that are living and overcoming and being healed through it. Amen? Uh, it says, therefore let us not sleep as though as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Verse 7 says, For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of what? Faith and love. This is a protection. It, it, it protects us. What protects you? Faith, praise God. The faith. Amen. Faith in God. Faith in our Christ. Pray faith in the Messiah and what he has done and what he has paid and what he has promised us, that he is coming back, praise God, amen. We're going to rule and reign on this earth. Our faith is in that. Yet, uh, weeping may do it for a night. Joy is coming in the morning. So while in this weeping season, I still can borrow some joy from the time that is coming, the expectation of it, the faith of it, and bring it into today. And in that, I can walk. Amen. Faithful and, 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 and with the faith of God. Amen. It says uh, the breastplate of faith and love. I know, this love is the love I know that God has for me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God loves us. Amen. He is for us. And also the love that I should have in, from uh, towards my uh, my, uh, my brethren, amen, I'm supposed that they'll know you by the love you have one for another. As I walk exercising the love God has for me, keeping my mind stayed on that, I also am able to manifest this love towards others. And it's seen by the world, and then they become jealous of it and want to be a part of what the Lord has going on with us. A amen. He said, put this faith and love on as a helmet and a hope of salvation. Remember us saying that faith is the substance of things hoped for, Hebrews 11, 1, and the substance of those things, amen, uh, uh, that are not seen. So faith is, is that which is hoped for. Uh, our, faith, our faith is put in the hope. Our hope should be in salvation. Our hope should be in what God has promised. Our hope is on the solid rock of Jesus Christ and his promises. My sins are paid for. I am a son of God. I am loved of God. Amen. Praise God that I am going to be with him. Amen. I'm, I'm, if, even if my, this body perish, I'm going to be raised with him. My hope is in that. So I don't walk as one hopeless, but I walk as one with hope. That hope now allows my faith, which is the substance, the tangible, touchable, wayable measure of my life that you can see, touch, and, and handle, that is, that, that, that faith, praise God, that you can, that you, faith is a substance, that right now, amen, gives you hope. Somebody say amen, because you can see it, you can touch it, 
You can measure it. So it talks about the hope of your salvation. Amen. Because of the hope of that salvation, I have faith in what Jesus has done, is doing, and is going to do. For God had not appointed us to what? Wrath. But to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. This is verse 9 of chapter 5 of 1 Thessalonians. He said, for God had not what? <coughs> appointed us to wrath. Praise God. Excuse me. Amen. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's by what he has done, praise God. Amen. Who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. So whether we are living when he comes or we're dead uh, 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 when he comes, amen, the Bible calls it sleep. We're going to be raised to be with him. Amen. Amen. Verse 11 says, Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. So that's what we're supposed to be doing. What are we supposed to be doing during this dark season? Because of our faith in Christ. One, we're to be comforting one another. We're to be comforting edifying and building up the body so that they can be the light and show forth the hope of their salvation through their life. Amen? Amen. Because you're able to see their faith, measure their faith, touch their faith because of the hope that is within them. Amen. Verse 12 says, And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. Amen. So you're to, you're, you're to also uh, respect those that are over you and those that are feeding you in the word of God. There are uh, apostles, prophets, pastors, and teachers and evangelists all over this city ministering the word of God. They're ministering the word of God. They're ministering it to the, to the people of God. You're to respect them. You're to listen to them. Anybody that you give time to or listen to, amen, time is valuable. It's, you're not going to get any more of it. So when you take time out to listen, to study, to learn, to share, to encourage those that are feeding you, amen, that's a blessing, amen. So you're to be doing that. It says, and we beseech you, verse 4, brethren, to know them which what labor among you. You have those that are laboring among you studying, amen, to show themselves approved, studying to share with you, receiving revelation from God, amen, amen, it, 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 uh, it, it, it admonishes you, amen, amen, to respect them, verse 13 says, and to esteem them, what, very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. These are people that are there feeding you, fathering you, nurturing you, mothering you, there with you, praise God, amen, praying for you, interceding for you, amen. You should not just ignore them, but you should be respectful towards them, and you should honor them. Somebody say amen. Verse 14 says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, and be patient, Toward all men. What? It says, exhort, he exhorts us, encourages us, or tells us, warn them that are unruly. There are those that are among us that are unruly. They, they're not uh, going by the way of God and not manifesting the kingdom of God in their lives. They're going the way of the world. They believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. They believe in his death, burial, and resurrection, but they don't see themselves as, as workers with him, building him, and encouraging him in the kingdom of uh, uh, and, and, and encouraging the body amen and, 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 and uh, being in place so that people can see the light that is coming from them but they are going the way of the world they don't look like Christ they don't look like the light they're not shining the light their light is hid with a, a, a bushel over it the world is covering it you can't see it well uh, uh, he, he tells us amen to, to warn them it says the feeble-minded, those that are not, amen, 
uh, 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 washing and edifying their mind in the, in the things of God, praise God, amen, that are not studying to show themselves approved, amen, but they're filling their minds up with all kind of other stuff. It says support the weak. Be there for those, amen, that may be going without, that may be suffering going through. But they're believers, the widows, the ones that have lost people, the ones that are giving up, the ones that have lost hope, the ones that may be shut down, disappointed, discouraged. We're to, we're to support the weak, and it says be patient towards all men. Amen, that's everywhere, that's all men. We're to be being patient, praise God. Amen. You want to know what to do? This is telling us what we should be doing during these times. Verse 15 says, See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Both among yourselves and to all men. So follow that which is good. Be about that which is good, that which is building, edifying, lifting up, supporting the kingdom of God. Amen. We'll be giving ourselves to that. Verse 16 said, rejoice evermore. That we'll be rejoicing. Amen. We'll be what? Rejoicing. So stirring up uh, the gifts that are within us, re re in encouraging one another so that our countenance is up and that the joy of the Lord which is our strength. Our joy is placed in the solid rock. Uh, the promises that he has promised us, he is coming back. We are going to be with him. The dead in Christ are going to rise, praise God. Those which will remain are going to be changed, praise God. And we're waiting. We're like a bride waiting on a groom, praise God. But we're waiting in hope. And that hope arises in faith. And others see our faith, and then they're touched by it, changed by it, praise God. Verse 17 says, pray without ceasing. ceasing. So we're to be prayerful. We're to be, man, ought to pray, always pray and not thank the word of God says. We're to be prayerful, praise God. Amen. Thank God for prayer. We have the ability to communicate with God, to hear, to listen, to speak to, uh, to, with God. Amen. Amen. Because of the spirit of the living God living on the inside of us. We're to exercise prayer. We just, we just, and, and if I, in, in my prayer, I'm doing more listening than talking because God knows better what I need than I do. Verse 18 says, In everything, give thanks. Hallelujah. Give thanks. This is what God wants us to do, to erupt in a fruit of thankfulness. I rise up in early in the morning thanking Him. I walk through the day giving Him thanks. I keep my mind stayed on him, praise God, amen. I'm thanking him for what he has done, the cross, the blood. His spirit has been given unto me, praise God. I'm not walking in darkness, but I'm walking in the light. I have, I have revelation from him, praise God. This encouragement allows me to be a light of joy in the midst of darkness that others, that attracts others. The fruit of the Spirit is flowing out of me, praise God. Amen. I thank God, praise God, amen, for what he's doing or what he has done. Verse 18 says, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. His will is that we be thankful. We should be a thankful people. Verse 19 says, quench not the Spirit. The Spirit of God living on the inside of you has to flow through uh, and will only be seen as your mind, praise God, amen, walks in one accord with the Spirit so that it can flow. How can two walk together unless it agrees? So you have to keep your mind stayed on the Lord in praise and in prayer and in fellowship and in thanksgiving, praise God, amen. As I do that, the revelations of my uh, our spiritual discernment about what's going on and who this is and what's happening, praise God. He's continually revealing to me what is happening in the world and what I should be doing. How is that? Amen. Praise God. Because I'm walking thankful. I'm walking with my mind stayed on. So I'm not quenching the spirit. I can quench the spirit, praise God, trying to be prideful and do things for myself. I can't earn my salvation, praise God. Amen. Amen. I learn, amen, from, from, the, from, the, uh, from, the, from the law of God and, and from all that God has, has taught me in his Old Testament. Amen. Thank the Lord, praise God. Amen. 
through, uh, through, through the things of God, amen, the tabernacle, the priest, the feast days, all of those things I study and I learn from them about the prophetic uh, assuredness that Jesus was coming. But now that I know he's come and his spirit is within me, now the law of love is, a, is woke up, has been written in my heart. Now that I can hear the spirit of God, my mind should keep itself clean and clear so that it can continually receive from the spirit of God living on the inside of me. And my steps are ordered of God, praise God. Amen. So quench not the spirit of God. Don't get around and don't be amongst and don't protect take of things that would grieve or quench him. He said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. But you can grieve and you can quench and you can resist the Holy Spirit in your heart. Amen. Your soul can be hardened to him where you can't hear his voice as he leads and guides you and tells you where to go and what to do and what to say. You can't hear him if you continue to harden your heart towards him. Praise God. Allow God to break you and to uh, uh, break up the stony ground so that his spirit again living on the inside of you can communicate through a broken soul, praise God. Amen? Amen, praise God. Verse 20 says, despise not prophesying. Amen. But 21 says, prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. So you test the prophecies, the things that are spoken over your life, the things that are shared, the things that are said in your midst, whether it be good, whether it be of God, whether God is saying it, amen, or whether it's just man saying it, whether it's just souls talking, whether it's somebody's flesh talking, praise God, amen. You have to prove it. How can you prove it? The Word of God says try the Spirit by the Spirit and see if it be the Spirit of God, praise God, amen. You try the Spirit by the Word of God. The Word of God is the Spirit. It, 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 it agrees with the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God, praise God, is sharing it, through you or through this person, you will know it if it lines up with the word of God. Praise God. It says from abstain from all appearance of evil because people are watching you. They are watching what's going on in your life and your life, praise God, should be a testimony. He said you overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the word of your testimony, and you love not your life unto them. By the blood of the Lamb, we know that we're saved. By the word of our testimony, praise God, amen, as we share the things, amen, that God has brought us out of and brought us through, people gain hope from that. The enemy don't want, he tries to destroy your testimony, praise God, amen. It says, and we love not our life to death. We know that he's coming back. We know that the dead in Christ are going to rise. We know that those that are alive are going to be quick, are going to be changed. We know that we're going to be with him, praise God, amen. We know that, and because we know that, and our hope is in that, the manifestation of that confidence, even in the dark time, even in the pandemic time, even in the, uh, uh, the racial injustice time, I still have hope, praise God, amen. I still have hope. Somebody said, praise Praise the Lord. And, and it says, very, verse 23, And the very God of peace sanctify you, what? Holy. I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. What? It says that, sancti that, 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 that the God of peace, praise God, amen, our God, amen, is going to what? Sanctify us, amen. He sanctifies us, what? That's holy. That's, that's not holy as in being holy, but that's the whole spirit, soul, and body. And it's mentioned in that order because the spirit, praise God, amen. It, the, it, the word of God said, if you, if, if, if you have believed on him in Romans 8, Amen. It says we're one spirit with him. So God now has joined his spirit to you. Are there any believers out there? Who believes on the Lord Jesus Christ? Praise God. Amen. If you would say hallelujah right now. If you would raise your hands right now. If you would magnify. That's your faith. Your faith ought to come out of you. Amen. Your praise ought to come out of you. Your thanksgiving ought to come out of you. Your love ought to come out of you. It ought to be measurable. It ought to be tangible. It ought to be touchable. The world wants to touch your fruit, praise God. Amen. The world wants to receive the seed of your fruit, which is the word of God. And when the fruit, praise God, is eaten, the word is received. Somebody said, praise God. So they are drawn and, and, and attracted to you by your fruit. They've got to see something. Amen. Dead, 
We don't need dead faith without works. The works that it's talking about is the manifestation of the fruit. It is the manifestation of the fruit. Praise God. It's not talking about you working, amen, to prove your, sal uh, your salvation. Is there, but it's talking about the manifestation. Thanks ought to just come out of you. Every time your soul lines up, every time your flesh lines up with your spirit, a hallelujah, a praise God ought to come out. Praise God. Amen. Loving our brothers and loving our sisters. Forgiveness. Amen. Long suffering and faith should come out. Amen. Whatever's needed, the, the gift of the Spirit, praise God, can begin, will begin to move and people, amen, they'll know you by your fruit. They'll know you by your fruit. So I say, praise God, amen. He's going to sanctify you what? Holy, lined up, amen, where the, 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 the Spirit and the soul and the body are lined up perfectly in synergy so that what's in you can flow out of you. Amen. What's inside of you? Who's inside of you? It's by his spirit, praise God. Not by might, nor by power, but by his spirit. Amen. God's going to do something, but it's going to be by his spirit, praise God. Don't quench the spirit of God. Don't allow your soul, praise God, amen, amen, to, to quench and grieve with the wrong thinkings, the wrong thoughts, the wrong saying, the wrong company, amen, but sit with God and allow God, amen, to, to, to uh, uh, allow you, praise God, to, to uh, allow your spirit to totally take control over your body so that the Holy Spirit can flow out. And be manifest, quenching, grieving, resisting the spirit by things of the world we shouldn't do. Our values should be in the things that are above, praise God. It tells you to put your mind on the things that are above, praise God. These things that are of, of good report, and these things that are holy, and these things that are righteous, these things are about his kingdom, praise God. These things that are thoughts that are about Jesus coming back and us being with him, praise God, and, and fellowshipping with the saints and praising God, praise God, loving one another, doing good, Lord, to those that are out among us, that those we have that you direct us to do, praise God. Amen. Verse 24 says, and, and faithful is he that called you who also will do it. God's going to do it. He's going to sanctify you wholly through the things that we're going through. Don't, don't think it's strange, these fiery darts and trials that are coming among. God's going to do it. Amen. He's, 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 he's aligning up spirit, soul, and body through the things that you're going through, through the things that are being allowed. Let your attitude be one of faith where you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what's going on, I'm going to believe I'm saved. I'm going to believe that his death, burial, resurrection, it satisfied the sin death. And that I have accepted and received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. And because of that, now I am a son of God. I'm joint heirs with him. Amen. I'm joint heirs with him. And no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That I'm on assignment. And nothing can stop me from my assignment. Nothing can separate me from the love of God which is in him. Which is in Christ Jesus. Nothing can separate me. Praise God. Amen. So I'm going to keep on loving him. Praise God. It may cost me my life. It may, not, it may cause me not to take what they're saying that they're going to give if there's a tracking mechanism in it. It may cause me, praise God, not to partake in the things of the world, praise God. Amen. That they're coming across with new systems and new agendas and all of these things that are, that are coming forth, praise God. I'm going to be spiritually discerning. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to believe God, praise God. I'm going to allow him to order my steps and direct my path. So be spiritually discerning. If you're busy, amen, monitoring and walking in the way in which this word has called you to, prayerful and joyful, and with your mind stayed on him, and loving your brothers and loving those that are around you, praise God, amen, and allowing yourself to be sanctified by the Spirit of God, taking it in the right attitude, praise God. If you're mindful, spiritually discerning while you walk, be prayerful about everything. Amen. If the Spirit of God in you quickens you to not agree with whatever the world is presenting, denounce it. Walk away from it. 
the just shall live by faith. Father, we thank you. Thank you for justifying us by our faith. Our faith in Christ has caused us to be sons of God, receiving your spirit. Now he, the word of God says, we have no need that anybody teaches anything. In other words, you're able to alert and keep us and, 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 and teach us. So we look inward and not outward for direction in this darkness. We walk in light instead of darkness. We come against the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus because you haven't given us a spirit of fear, but one of love, power, and a sound mind. We walk by faith and not by sight. Our faith tells us you love us. Our faith tells us we're saved. Our faith tells us you're coming back. Our faith tells us to prepare for your coming. Our faith tells us, praise God, to share with those that are around us, first starting in our own houses, in our own homes, witnessing to our own families, and then moving out into our neighbors, and then moving out into the other most parts of the world. Our faith tells us to, to be mindful of the, the saints, God. Hallelujah. How we respond to one another should be different than how we respond to the world. If we would keep ourselves, oh God, in the company uh, of, uh, of, of those that edify and build up, Lord, your, your word lets us know that Lord, no weapon formed against us shall prosper in that. Weeping may endure for night, but joy is coming in the morning. There's a morning time to this. This too shall pass. We're going to make it. Lord, not as in the world getting better, but as in you remaking this world into a place where it just be you and your people and this world, praise God amen, will be where heaven itself has come down like a bride and we shall be your people and Lord you should be our king and our father and we'll live with you forevermore in Jesus name, amen